Somebody who is not listening to their mother packed a light jacket instead of a heavy coat. My coat's in the car. Disasters, <laughs> natural disasters, and what do you do? These are all yeah. near candy. Can you imagine how long it would take? It would take to so make much these. Time. These are jelly beans. There's the goat. You can get a goat. Hi guys, welcome back to Peggy's Family! Woo! I'm David. <laughs> and we are in the car driving because it's finally the season and we get to go look at the Christmas lights. I am so excited. Last year we didn't get to do this other than around our local area and our tradition is to usually take hot cocoa with us as we go look at lights and see which cool ones we can find. But this time we get to go to a really cool special place. It's the Salt Lake City LDS Temple and they decorate like crazy. Like yes. it's so pretty. So it's the temple for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Yep. Salt Lake. And we're going to see if we can hunt down a machine to buy some goats or something. What? what? Maybe we're going to buy something. Goat? Maybe. Maybe buy some goats goat? or chickens or okay, ducks. Wait, I don't know. We're going to see what we can buy on this uh, <laughs> Christmas light okay. trip. We're going to meet up with Audrey and Spencer and go out to dinner. And I'm excited because it's P.F. Chang and we haven't eaten there for a really long time. That has been, yeah, it's been it's ages. Before COVID. Yeah, before. really long time. So I'm excited. Let's go look at some Christmas lights. Yay! Alrighty, we have arrived in Salt Lake and we met up with the Audrey. Yay! Okay, so it's cold out and somebody was being um, not listening to their mother and packed a light jacket instead of a heavy coat. My coat's in the car. And the tie only brought a little jacket. So and it's freezing. And we've got to eat dinner and then go look at lights. So he's going to freeze, but we're here. It's all good. I've forgotten to vlog <laughs> dinner. We ate dinner. Because the food was too yummy and I was too hungry. Yeah, we were and distracted. I forgot all about it. Yeah, but the lights are now on. Well, yeah, these are just some lights by the restaurant, but they're pretty. Yeah. We're going the to even city is more. decked out. And so our entire topic at dinner time was disasters, <laughs> natural disasters, and what do you do if there's a natural disaster? <laughs> So we're like, what so, about tsunamis? What about avalanches? Do you know what to do you know? in case of every single natural disaster there is out there? Yeah, because it all we were learning. Yeah, because it all started with like in Florida, we were taught in school like what to do with tornadoes and hurricanes because that's something that happened in Florida. And then here in Utah, you're not taught about tornadoes and hurricanes. You're only taught about earthquakes because that's something that happens in Utah. So it's like and winter storms and things yeah. like that. So it's kind of interesting. Like I don't know. We were just like, oh, do we actually know what to do in all sorts of <laughs> different situations? What about avalanches? You know, because I don't know who's to say like we don't I don't know. know if you're traveling and something happens. Yeah. I hope not, but you know. And now we are at Temple Square looking out the lights. <laughs> and at the temple, but you can't tell. Yes, yeah, so this... the temple is under construction right now. They're doing renovations to Eskimo. make it stronger. <laughs> oh? So it'll last through an earthquake, which is like we were talking but about. It's like, you make it through an earthquake. It's like right there where the crane is. We'll see when so, we get closer. It's yeah, just, it's yeah. not lit up on top. It, it looks just, very different, it was but that's hard to recognize it. It's, that's their first time seeing it in person in like in construction. construction. Yeah. So that's the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, Salt Lake City Temple here in Utah. Yay! <laughs> that's a mouthful. There's the temple and it's kind of missing the spires on the top and they're normally lit up and there's scaffolding everywhere so you don't see the pretty rock. Whoa. Whoa. Wow. Okay, so that's the foundation oh, and oh it is like hundreds of years old. So wow. yeah, they have to update the foundation. Wow, that's a big project. Okay, so we left Temple Square. We're actually just kind of here outside Macy's, but we want to look at the big hanging ornaments. They're kind of cool. They're all jelly beans and cookies. You stick that on your Christmas tree. Wow, can you imagine? Oh, that would crush your tree. Oh, the fruit here, what? This penguin. <laughs> penguin. And that one's really cool because there's Santa and reindeer. Bro, these are all oh near candy. Can you imagine how long it would take to so make much these? Time. These are jelly beans. 
I know. These are all jelly beans, except for the sides has these little bent lightsabers. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And there's a couple suckers, but this is crazy. So cool. So cool. Whoa. Whoa. We just entered the other side. We had to go out on the street and re-enter. So this is the old tabernacle. It's like a gingerbread house, like a fancy gingerbread It is a fancy building. So this is called the assembly hall. We both got that wrong, but that does sound right now, now that you say it. Okay. <gasps> Look. What? We just got here in time. We're gonna go to a presentation in Spanish, Espanol, which, which, is, which is so fun because the boys and I are learning Spanish right yes. now, so we can understand a little bit of it. And is it the nativity in Spanish or just? What I don't is know what the presentation is. Okay, you guys, it's right there. It's on the ceiling. <laughs> like this one. There's a giraffe and a leopard and a zebra. Okay, where do you guys think that is? You went on a safari, right? No, I guess is that like maybe Africa? Yeah. I love it. Let's go down here and see. I see another one right there. I love the ears. Yeah. Now, I don't know if that's like Mexico or if it's not. I'm terrible at guessing countries. I wish they were labeled Spanish. I don't know. I, mean, I think it's Spanish because of the hat and then there's like the donkey. Yeah, it makes sense. With the really long I ears, which I love. The wagon because they have the, oh, the wagon on the free walls. Okay, guys, using your context clues, <laughs> where do you guess this one's from? I see fish, so I'm thinking like Eskimo. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. But I'm not even sure. But I like it. I yeah, think it's so cool to see all the different ones. Yeah. I love how they're like from around the world yeah. though. And normally there's like yeah. more, but I, I think, think it's- I think they have signs up too of where it's from. I think they do I too. This yeah. year's a little This year's a little simple. bit harder just with like the yeah. world going on kind of Con crazy. And there's and like construction, construction here. Yeah. Okay, I think we have one left. This one's easy. Where do you say, the David? The kiwi bird gives it away. Okay, so where do you say? So, well, let's let's ask the viewers. Where do you find the kiwi bird? Oh, you, they can Google it's search. On an <laughs> island, I'll give you that, in the south. Yes, and David's parents have been there. <laughs> That's why he oh. knows. Oh, well, guys, we're up kind of above the construction area, but we can go up one more level. So we're gonna go, yes, we just have to walk around the outside and up the stairs, and we're gonna get a good look of Temple Square, but it's so different looking. It doesn't even look like Temple Square with the temple under construction. It doesn't at all. It just looks like another ordinary building where before it like really shone and stood out, right? Yeah, it was like really bright. And, and look at the moon. It's so low. Yeah. Okay, so normally that's lit up literally everywhere, but yeah. Now just the outskirts of it are. Okay, here's a model of the temple that we were talking about that's under construction. So that's what it was like before. And you can even see um, some of the rooms inside it in the model. Okay, how bouge is this mall? I'm really wishing that our mall was like this, but our mall is not like this. Our mall is like a pretty dead mall. This is, There's a, nothing bougie this mall. is a really, really, like really crazy. nice one. We got bridges and the inside. And this is only like the one half. The other half goes out the door and across the street and has another bridge. And has another bridge. And water and pretty designs. So we're trying to find the goats and <laughs> to the goats. Yes. Anyway, I'm just jealous of this ball. <gasps> and the wreath. It's even got like a creek. It's huge wreath. It's got a creek. That's why it's called the City Creek Mall. Oh, <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, so it's like the world and you can buy gifts for other people. So, Global <laughs> Charities. Oh. Like the goat. I'm like, there's some stuff there's we can get. Oh, there's the goat. You there's can get a goat. Your, there's your chickens. There's some chickens there. There's okay. Some water. Water pumps. Water pumps are good. 
We can buy a whole bunch of different things. So oh, textbooks, a laptop. Do you want to get a goat? Sure. Ty's on there. board now that they're now that he knows he doesn't have to take care of the goat. So that helps know. the Somali and Burundi refugees. I already knew that I didn't yeah. have to. Come on. <laughs> they do have a lot of other the same Okay, thing the goats. In all oh, they're just mixed? They're just in different spots. Okay, so we just need to choose what we want to do. Okay, the goat is $175. How much are chickens? $25. 25 so we could we either could buy seven chickens or one goat. Or we could get a goat and a chicken. A goat and a chicken? Actually, it's two chickens. Let's get two chickens and a goat. Two chickens yeah. and a goat. Ty, is there anything else you want to buy? Uh, what have we thought of? Oh, the goats are here. We thought of, yep, there's goats here too. We thought of a goat and two chickens. Goat and two chickens. Is there anything else that's like speaking to you that we should get? Yeah, I think yeah. maybe a water pump giving family access to clean water so they can get clean water for cooking, bathing, yeah. and drinking. Yeah, the water is definitely a good thing. What would we decide on? We got a goat and two chickens and a water pump. Goat, two chickens, <laughs> and a water pump. 138. Add to cart. Add to cart. Okay, one goat is in the cart. Okay. And then 124 is a water pump. Add. Add. <laughs> You want the moist to do it? <laughs> okay, we got a water pump. And where's the chickens? Two chickens, one, one, two. Two chickens? Two chickens, okay. Okay. Did you want your diapers or are we good? I, mean, no, I, just, I guess we're good. Okay, we're good. Hey, we donated diapers to the we local did. We, so. We've already donated to okay. a bunch of other places. Alrighty. Let's see. Processing. Oh, oh goat fell down. There goes. Oh, there goes the water pump. And the chickens. Yay! Good job, guys. You just got a goat, two chickens, and a water pump. Yep. That's awesome. And you can see them down there. Very cool. Alrighty, we are done looking at lights. And I thought it was really cool that we got to buy a goat, two chickens, a water pump to help out other people that need these things. And Jordan also purchased something and Audrey purchased something. Audrey I got, and Spencer. I bought a bathroom and some soap because I remember when dad, Audrey and I were in Mozambique, Africa doing a service project. I remember that the bathrooms there were not the best and there wasn't like any soap there. And that was really, I don't know, it was just very different. And I remember I was very grateful coming home to have plumbing again and to have those luxuries. And so I was like, oh, this is what I want to buy. So. That's what I got. Ty's just happy we don't have to have chickens running around our house with a goat. Because <laughs> he didn't know what we were doing. I did. <laughs> I think everybody was a little bit confused because we didn't tell them. We That's just said awesome. we we're going to buy a goat. And I'm just happy that there were goats still left to purchase. Um, but we could have purchased anything. All of them go for a great cause. So if you see a giving yes. box near you, go and help somebody Volunteer else. Or, or and I mean, donate. Yeah, <laughs> donate. And if you can't donate, then just the simplest things giving somebody a smile opening the yeah. door anything to make someone else's day better yes. anyway yes. this was a fun tradition we didn't have our hot cocoa but maybe we'll go home and have some yes and you guys let us know if you go around looking at christmas lights around the holidays because yeah. i'm curious what you do for your traditions all right that's it for today thank you so much for watching we'll see you next time bye, bye.